Dutch legends Marco van Basten, Ruud Gullit and Wesley Snyder have questioned whether Manchester United's new £42.63 million signing Matthijs de Ligt is good enough for the Premier League. The trio of former Holland internationals all admitted they had doubts about Eric Ten Hag's capture of the centre. Back. He nurtured at Ajax when they discussed De Ligt's move to United from Bayern Munich on Rondo, a TV debate show aired on satellite channels ago. Van Basten, the three-time Ballon d'Or winner whose glittering playing career took him from Ajax to AC Milan, doesn't understand why both Bayern and Juventus have been happy to cash in on the 25-year-old. He believes that it's now or never for Delict to realize the potential he showed when he came through. The rank set Ajax to make his international debut at the tender age of 17. Van Basten said, Delict has to start performing now. No more excuses. Eric Ten Hag must also ensure that he has a good and fit selection. But Delict seems to be injured everywhere he plays. That does remain a question mark. I do hope the best for him. But if you see his progression he hasn't gotten much better since he left Ajax. I worry that De Ligt goes full out everywhere on the pitch and has not really developed any anticipation yet. Wesley Snyder, the former midfielder who was close to joining United on a number of occasions when Sir Alex Ferguson was manager, also has his doubts. Snyder, now an outspoken pundit in Holland after a career that took him from Ajax to Real Madrid, Inter Milan and Galatasaray, said, it is quite remarkable that he, De Ligt, has never found a base to play regularly. I thought Germany would suit him better. They play a bit the same as the Netherlands, trying to solve things from the back with footballing solutions. I had a good feeling about his game in Germany. Have your say. Will Matthijs De Ligt be a good signing for Manchester United? Comment below. But England is much more physical, with big and fast players. It is difficult to assess whether he fits there. I really don't begrudge him the move. He is a studious boy who is at the front of training every day. De Ligt did not play a single minute for Holland as Ronald Koeman's team reached the semi-finals before losing to England. He lost his place to Dio Upamecano and Kim Min, ye at Bayern at the start of last season after suffering a knee injury. Thomas Tuchel gave him more minutes alongside Eric Dyer as the campaign progressed, but the Bundesliga giants opted to sell. When United inquired about the 2018 Golden Boy winner and the availability of Moroccan right, back Nasser Mazroui, Carlet, the former Chelsea and Newcastle manager who was also a recipient of the Ballon d'Or, revealed that he had spoken to ex-Juventus centre-back Giorgio Chiellini about De Ligt's qualities. Gullit said, Giorgio Chiellini waxed lyrical about him, De Ligt, and he also thought it was strange that he didn't play more for Holland. I think he's a great guy. I do hope he makes it in England. But this is the Premier League, and you have to work hard to succeed. Join our new WhatsApp community and receive your daily dose of Mirror Football content. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out anytime you like. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice.